Welcome to Portrait in a Minute. Today we're looking at a portrait of William Tecumseh Sherman by George Peter Alexander Healy. Here we see the class of 1840 West Point graduate portrayed in his uniform, much the way he would have looked in 1866 at the time this was painted, but certainly not how he would have looked in the field during the Civil War campaigns. In the first three years of the war, Sherman's record was marginal. He was a colonel at Bull Run in July of 1861, and against strong Confederate forces, he had rallied his men during the battle, and his pluck was noted by his superiors, though ultimately his brigade left the field in much the same way as the rest of the Union troops, fleeing from the rebel onslaught. His first large command in Kentucky was a colossal failure, and many journalists accused him of having lost his mind. Sherman performed well at Shiloh in the spring of 1862, but managed a disastrous attack at Chickasaw Bluffs a few months prior to the 1863 siege of Vicksburg. His march to Chickamauga was plagued with logistical problems and his performance in the battle for Chattanooga was also questionable. However, he was one of Grant's most trusted men and that relationship would continue well after the end of the war. General Sherman is most famous for his march through Georgia in late 1864 and through South Carolina in early 1865. In cutting a swath through those two states, Sherman would effectively crush the rebel resistance and demoralize the entire region. This great march, as it is called, and the general's use of total warfare would make Sherman famous in the North and infamous throughout the South. William Tecumseh Sherman would go on to receive the surrender of Confederate General Joseph Johnston's armies, and after the war, Sherman would eventually become the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Army from 1869 to 1883. This has been Portrait in a Minute.